Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to my first RPG Maker MV tutorial. Yes, I am doing this. Um, okay, <clears throat> just want to premise this by saying um, don't expect this to be the be-all and end-all. Um, don't expect it to work flawlessly and everything else. It, there's a lot of work involved in getting this to work. So I just wanted to make that point first before I did uh, before I start but as you can tell by the title it is converting your VXA projects into MV so I'm gonna go through this as simply as I can put it so if you have I don't know if it's just a pre-order or when you get the game you do get some DLC or I did get some DLC with it Where are we? here we are it's the essential add-on pack that you need I'm not sure if they're selling that separately or not um, I have to have a look into that suppose. so the first thing you're going to want to do if you want to try and transfer your projects over is go into the your RPG Maker MV folder in the Steam library. Go to DLC, go into your RPG Maker web plugins, and then into Shazza's folder. So I've made an Ace MV converter. So this is a script for VX Ace. So obviously, I've already put it in the game, but I'll just show you anyway. You obviously you'll just copy and paste it, Control and C, and then all you want to do is you want to go into your VX Ace folder. Uh, no, wrong one. This one. Nope, wrong one. That one. <laughs> and load up your VX Ace project, which I'm doing now, as you can tell. Okay. Then you're going to want to go into scripts and start a new script, which here is I just called it MV but as you can see it is the same one if you don't believe me I'll just copy that out and paste it, the one I just copied back in there it is in there apply okay now what you're going to want to do to generate the folders or generate the folder which is not in your game folder yet is do a play test of the game so and yes and obviously save the changes I think that's all you got to do I don't think you have to play it or anything um, I think I can just cross it off now and that'll be, be done. And then you want to exit out of your VXA project, preferably not onto the desktop. And obviously I'll get rid of this as well. And then it makes a new folder called MV Data. Now in this is all of your maps and everything else that have been put into um that you've done in VXA has been converted into files so that MV can read it. So what you're going to want to do now that you've done that is go into MV, launch a new, or launch the program, obviously, and start a new project. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Project 1. I deleted the tutorial one from earlier just to show you this, just to make sure you'll believe me. So you let that do, let that copy in. Let me just wait for this now to do that. There we go, a blank project with nothing in it. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to, first of all, copy all of this stuff from the MV data folder that is in your original, that's now been made in your original game folder by that script, by Shaz's script. You're then going to want to go into your documents, into games, and then into your project. So this is the project for... MV, and here it is here. Go into your data and copy it in, replace all the files, and there are the files that have been created by this script into your data file into the new MV project, which is still this one. So I'm going to cross that off. Oh, do I need to cross it off, or can I just look? Yeah, just, we'll just load from here. So I'm going to load the project back again, as you can see, and there we go. It's imported it. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to notice is not everything marries up and not everything looks right. <laughs> the reason for that is, well, we've not imported any of the tile sets. So obviously all the custom tile sets from VXA have not been put in. Big problem there. Uh, the characters haven't been put in, you know, anything like that. Your script calls will not work, of course, because the scripts don't transfer over because they need to be made for MV which means you've got to go through and do all that again. Um, I'm not sure if the characters are... Oh, the characters have appeared in the database. 
So, well, that's good at least, anyway. Obviously, none of the images are there at all because I've not imported the images. So, as you probably gathered, it is going to take a lot of work in order to get the thing actually totally converted. You'll need to move across all of your resources, which I'll go into in another video. Um, you're going to have to check all your scripts, check all the database um, to do the proper conversion. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a big help in one sense because it, you know, does do what it says. It, it is somewhat converted. All the maps are still there and that sort of stuff, which is really nice if, you know, if that's what you were inclined to, to want to do. And I dare say it will probably work quite well. Um, <clears throat> depends on how far through you are with the game and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, look, a lot of these sprites don't marry up to what, because obviously it's using um, it's using the sprites that are in the same file destination from VXACE, so that would have been just a generic soldier, for example, but it's now a sort of a different style of generic folder, of generic uh, so soldier even. So, um, I guess, if we're interested, we'll go and have and explore around the port town and create a starting position although I don't actually have a character which is a bit awkward um, I guess I'll just put it, it's probably going to break the first time we use it anyway so we won't worry I'm not going to spend too much time but as you can see it has changed that as well okay so it's not been managed to load the title so I can't even get into it yes everything else needs to be done as well so um, just bear in mind all of that. Obviously, you can copy in the resources, then copy this in, and it should marry up as, as well as it can be. I'm interested to see how it does it when I put in the custom style sets from last time. Wonder if does it just upscale the uh, pixel size from before? Haven't tried that. Something I'll be looking at, and obviously you'll see, and I'll I'll let you all know about that. I have. This is totally off now. You can quit the video if that's what you wanted to see. I haven't got anything more to say about it. Um, at the minute, it's just involves you going through and checking everything and making sure everything still works the way you want it to. The other thing I wanted to say is, in terms of my game, Fading Remnants, I really... Um, it's, a really good, it's really good what we've got now, but I will not be, unfortunately, making the game on MV. Um, I'll have to do some sort of side project for MV. Uh, the other game, the second game in the series, if it is to be made, will almost certainly or certainly be made on MV. But considering the time, effort, resources, resources, money, artwork, everything else that's gone into making it for VX Ace, I do need to, unfortunately, do it on that program, which <laughs> slightly um, is quite disappointing for me. But there you go. Um, I think because of the whole conversion and everything, if when uh, the end of an age is released, I may do a watered down version for MV, spend some time, um, you know, work out the story of it, make it more of a sort of, um, I don't know, maybe four hour game that, you know, will also be available for um, phones and tablets and that sort of thing because I, I do want to release it on there which is really good which is one of the things you can do now is uh, turn it into an Android app I'm not sure if you can turn it into an iOS app oh you can do it to both not tried any of that yet look the game MV does actually give you a, a virtual box to be able to try and be able to try it out on so you can try it out as how it would work on Android with obviously the uh, the touch screen element rather than a mouse and keyboard or a controller so there you have it. Um, I don't think I've got anything more to say. I guess this is my first proper tutorial. And it's gone pretty well. Anyway, guys, if you've got any questions about RPG Maker MV and you want me to answer them, you want me to do a tutorial on it, I will, of course, be doing the generic tutorial where I talk about getting started and everything else like that. Um, and I will be starting a project on MV as well, some sort of... Um, like I said, just a side project, but perhaps something, perhaps a slight, you know, branching story or, or whatever from the main game. Maybe a sort of prologue of sorts, but we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm not going to be pouring in money and, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff into it. It will be probably converted resources from the 
Ace game itself, which is, of course, a good setup to do more tutorials on. Anyway, guys, I am rambling now, but thank you very much for watching. I hopefully you've enjoyed it, and hopefully it's helped you out uh, quite a lot. I think the conversion tool is pretty good. Well, actually, it's really good because I wasn't expecting anything like it, and it's worked surprisingly well. So do try it out and see how your game looks because it's funny to see how it's changed stuff up. Anyway, guys, see you later.